There's so much potential with this device and so much power to unlock. A lot of people I think are misunderstanding what this device really is. If you're watching this video and you've already got one, you probably already get it. But I'll admit, I was confused at first, but the more I use it, the more I work with it, the more I really enjoy it. I'm slightly late to the party when it comes to reviewing this tablet, but what I found so far is that this is one of the most practical devices you'll find, whilst at the same time being the most impractical. What I mean is, if you want a smaller tablet, of course there are other options from Samsung themselves, other Android options and Apple. This device truly has the potential, in my opinion, for replacing a laptop. It can be used as a tablet, but really, that's not what it's for, I don't think. I don't think it should be used as a tablet. The iPad Air 5 would be more suited to tablet-y stuff, but if you really want to get things done, that's when the Type S8 Ultra comes in. When it comes to productivity, you know, getting work done, this is fantastic for it. I'm only scratching the surface, I think, here on, on what this device can really do. And there's so much that I'm finding every day and so many little details that are making this a real powerhouse from a productivity point of view. Sure, you could go instead for one of those ultra slim laptops, you know, a Microsoft Surface Pro, for example, you know, touch screen, but then you'd have to content with Windows and joys that come with it, right? Updating antivirus and all of that malarkey. And hey, I'm not knocking it. There's definitely a use case for that. But is the Tab S8 better than the Microsoft Surface Pro, for example? Can it do all the things that the Surface can do? No, but it's not trying to be a Windows laptop. It's simply trying to give people an option. And I love that. For a lot of people, especially Windows users, this is a laptop replacement. If you're coming from an older Windows laptop, you know, the ones that you, you can't really take it anywhere because the battery won't last, you know, the screen is not really bright enough. This is a true option here. If you don't need or want a Windows laptop, this is it. Which brings me to Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX is one of those features that don't get enough attention in my view. DeX is incredibly powerful. It opens up so many options. It sort of unshackles you from the desk as well in cables and monitor. A real use case may be attending Zoom calls, for example, and then you know taking a break going to watch some content for a little while and then coming back to work. Yes, you could achieve the same with a laptop, but you wouldn't be the same as just taking a tablet. And the display quality on this means you can alternate between work and media consumption seamlessly and have a great experience doing both. For some of my nine to five work, this did everything. You know, for editing videos and doing some of my heavier graphic workloads, of course, I need something with a bit more power. But if I wasn't running this channel, I don't see why I couldn't just run my other business with this device, which is in IT consultancy, just using things like you know, DeX and Microsoft Office and a few other apps. With that extra benefit of it being you know, an extremely light device and very portable, I can say honestly that this is a very capable device. I'm not returning it. Here's a couple of examples that I found in my first few weeks with this device. On the Tab S8 Ultra, unlike on the iPad, we can have three apps on the screen. It's great for you know, dragging and drop between them. You can even add more apps or very easily swap where they are on the screen and the tiles. And when you're doing that multitasking, the Edge panel also works as, as an additional functional part of the multitasking. Lots more that you can do, lots of apps that are being developed with that multitasking in mind. And hey, I am an Apple user at the end of the day. Universal control is great. And you might be saying, you know, universal control on the iPad, you can sort of do the same thing. You know, you can kind of have that experience as well. Well, yes and no. You can use the mouse and the keyboard between them and kind of drag and drop and sort of copy and paste. But in the real world usage, you know, kind of actually doing some work, that mouse move between the iPad and, and, and the Mac isn't really something that I struggle with. Yes, it's great for using things like Microsoft Office, for instance, and, and you can get that kind of extra real estate on the screen and copying and paste between them. It kind of makes you feel like you're, you're having, you know, you're using one device instead of two, but you're quite limited still. And don't get me started on plugging the iPad into an external monitor. There are some exceptions like Keynote and, you know, using LumaFusion and then monitoring the footage externally. That works, but most of the apps just don't work well with the big screen on the iPad. Apple are, I gotta calm down here and not say anything, but yeah, they're just not giving us that feature. I'm not knocking the iPad Pro. I love that thing as well. As a tablet, you know, when you combine your, your iPhone and your Apple Watch, you know, that ecosystem is pretty unbeatable for me, but from a productivity workflow, the Tab S8 Ultra, you know, if I ignore all my creativity stuff that what I do like video editing, you know, the Tab S8 Ultra, offers a little bit more for me. I think it's great too for using it during conference calls and things like that, you know, your Zoom meetings or Teams meetings. 
they're really great. The apps, you know, some of the features are not quite there yet, I have to be honest, but I can see the potential there. There's a lot of things that can be unlocked. The front cameras are great. You know, they're, they're very on par with the iPad, actually. I don't like the center stage-like feature that follows you around the room. You know, I just like the camera to stay still, <laughs> mainly because I don't want people to see my messy room. But I think it's, it's, you know, it's a very capable device for doing work stuff. Moving on to accessories, and before I talk about accessories in general that you can buy for the Tab S8 Ultra, I have to mention the S Pen. I don't know what Blackmagic Samsung did here, and this may be old news if you already use the Tab S7 or uh, one of the Note devices. I love the feel of the S Pen. I wish the hardware was a little bit bigger because, you know, if you compare that with the Apple one, well, but where it really matters, which is how it feels when you are writing or drawing, it's miles better for me than the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil is just too hard and very slippery for me. I actually have to use one of those rubberized tips on the Apple Pencil. And some people like to use those screen protectors that makes you feel like paper. I'm just not a fan of it. I, I never tried it to be honest, so maybe I'll like it, but I just don't like the idea of having something on the screen. I like the fact that I can use the screen as it was intended to be used. The S Pen here just feels really soft. It has tons of features as well that you can configure. Lots of actions, including unlocking the device with gestures. It has an actual button as well, which adds even more functionality. To me, it's a much more capable accessory. Like I said, I wish it had a better ergonomic design, but in terms of functionality, this is great. And the best thing, of course, is it's included in the price when you buy the Tab S8 Ultra. You don't have to spend another 100 bucks on, on the pen. As I explained in my previous video, this really can't be used as a tablet for a long time. You can, you can hold it like this and you can actually use it relatively well. It's very thin and very light, but after a while it does get a little bit uncomfortable. It's a bit unwieldy. I love if Logitech came up with a version of the folio here that we've got on the iPad for the Tab S8 Ultra. That would be perfect. But even that would make it quite space limited because you, know, you have to have quite a bit of space on the desk to to open it and the samsung keyboard slash cover you know that kind of sucks as well from what i can tell so the best option so far that i found is to use a bluetooth keyboard and mouse i've been using this logitech craft here and the mx3 mouse from logitech as well and they pair up really well for my workflow this is fantastic as i can switch between the, the macbook pro and the tab s8 ultra just by pressing a button on the mouse and a button on the keyboard as well they, they switch between them very quickly you can actually connect to a third device as well if I want to, but you know, by simply pressing one of those switches. Absolutely brilliant. I'll be reviewing loads more accessories, by the way. And if you like this sort of content, it would be awesome if you gave this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel as well. I won't spam you or anything, but I do at least one video a week that I hope you enjoy. As I said in my last video about the Tab S8 Ultra, to get work done, it's just a lot more comfortable to have this prop tap somewhere in a stand. So I got some stands that I've been trying here. The Satechi one that I've got right now is actually for iPads, but I found it works really well with the Tab S8 Ultra. Because of its size, this thing is huge, as I said. You're gonna need something quite sturdy that's not gonna tip over when you're typing or you're drawing on it. And the Satechi one I found is really nice and sturdy. It's made out of aluminum, top quality, but I am looking at more accessories and I'll keep sharing those here with you. Like I said, you might wanna take a break at some point or you know finish work and gaming on this device is just the icing on the cake for me. The graphics are incredible. And because the speakers are so good, you get this really nice and immersive experience when gaming. I wish it would support things like the PS5 DualSense haptics, but I don't know if that's ever gonna come. If, you know, it's not a real issue here. You know, we have the same problem with the iPad, but other than that, it's been fantastic. I've tried quite a few different games, really pushing the settings to the max where the game allows and I haven't really seen any drop frames or any overheating issues. It's just great for gaming. The battery does drop off when I've been testing games and working all day, but you know, I'm always close to a charger anyway when I'm at home. But if I'm out and about, then I carry this bad boy here, which is the Anchor Power Core. This is a 19,000 milliamp. It's not the biggest one that they've got. It's not the smallest either. It's kind of a mid-range accessory. It's not too heavy, so you can go in, even in your pocket if you want, but it's, it's kind of, you know, you, Put in a little case, protective case like that, that comes with it, carrying your bag with one cable, and that's it. That will charge not just the Tab S8 Ultra, but a laptop if you want to, and it's got a 60 watt charger. I reviewed this in a, in a different video as well, so I'll, I'll leave a link down below. This for me does replace a laptop. You lose some of the tablet's functionality because of the size, but this tablet is the closest laptop killer that I've ever used. People who have some sort of debt to Apple will say otherwise, and I, and I don't. 
so I don't give a damn. I do love Apple and I own pretty much all of their products, but there's a lot that the Tab S8 does and gives us in terms of freedom to do a little bit more as a consumer. I love that. Check my initial review in comparison with the iPad Pro here and check these other great tech reviews that I've got here for you in this playlist. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the smiling faces on the next one. Bye.